So for centuries, people didn't bother, especially in winter. The home was shut up and people were sewn into their clothes. After all, winters were much colder then than now and they had none of our gadgets to keep themselves warm. It wasn't about comfort, they were grateful just to survive the winter. At the first sign of warmer weather, people would open up their homes for spring cleaning. That's where the phrase comes from. They'd have to. People and livestock would have been stuck inside all winter. There'd be smoke and all sorts of stenches in here. So doors and windows would be opened up to let the warm air in and the foul stench out. Then they would get out the mops and vacuum cleaner to do the cleaning. Except there wouldn't have been a vacuum cleaner. It would be this, a brush. Early floor coverings were just bare earth covered in straw. The straw was there to soak up the winter waste. Instead of risking the cold, people and animals would urinate in a corner of the home. The straw was swept out as regularly as possible, but even so, homes back in the Dark Ages were basic and smelly. The reason floors were so basic wasn't just because of poverty, it was actually by royal proclamation. A royal proclamation of 1625 forbade anyone having any sort of floor other than mellow earth. Why? Because all that urine meant the floors of our homes were rich in nitrates, and nitrates are great for making gum powder. During the Civil War, this was in short supply, so saltpeter men were charged with crossing the land to dig up the floors of houses. That's like the government barging in unannounced today to take up your carpet or your floorboards. In reality, this was a law that applied mostly to the poor. The rich tried to buy their way out of it, and they tried to buy their way out of it so much that another law forbade them from bribing or obstructing the saltpeter men. Of course, gunpowder has been useful in providing alternative floor coverings. 